Hi, welcome back to Farwa. In this video, you'll find more than three things to do with the fresh rose plant. The rose has long been a symbol of love and beauty, and like many flowers, because of its beauty, has been overlooked for its many uses. This plant has many more benefits than just their lovely look. Starting off, we're making rose water and rose tea. The ratio is one cup of lightly packed petals to about one cup of clean water. Use a double boiler or make one of your own by putting a heat proof bowl upside down in a pot and placing another heat proof bowl right side up on top of that. If you are using a double boiler, then also put a bowl at the bottom of the pot right side up. Next, put the rose petals around the bowl in a circle. Pour enough water to sort of cover the petals, but not completely drown them, and begin the stove on a simmer. Put the lid upside down over the pot and place a bit of ice on top. This speeds up the process by encouraging more condensation to form and drip down into the bowl below. This works because water from around the roses evaporates up to the top of the pot and the ice cools it faster, turning the water vapor back into water. Occasionally check on the petals to see their color and replace the ice once it melts. Let the petals simmer until they lose most of their color or appear pretty translucent. This should take about 30 minutes to an hour. The water in the bowl is the purest form of rose water, and the water with petals is perfect for rose tea. Take the pot off the stove, remove the bowl from the pot, and strain the water. Next, pour the water that was in the outer circle through a strainer to take off the rose petals. The water in the bowl is good for toning spray. You can store the toner in a clear or tinted jar. And if you do plan to store the tea for a while, a tinted jar is probably best to keep the color. And to be safe, store it in the fridge for up to 10 days. is a rose honey throat soother. You'll need one part fresh and rinsed rose petals to one part honey. Lightly pack the rose petals in a jar or container. Then pour in a bit of the honey. Lightly stir and pour in the rest of the honey. Let it sit covered in a cool, dark place for two to six weeks before removing the petals. This might crystallize as most organic honey does after some time, but it can easily be decrystallized by lightly heating. When signs of a sore throat, put a spoonful of this into milk or tea. This adds a sweet and rosy flavor. Next on the list is rose vinegar. Put one part fresh rose petals to two parts vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is best, but almost any will work. Put the petals in a jar. Heat the vinegar nearly to a simmer. After the vinegar has warmed for a few minutes, pour it into the rose petals. Heating the vinegar is not necessary, but it speeds up the process. Store in a cool, dark place for two to six weeks before straining the petals, and then it's ready to use. A few uses for this are to add to bath water, use as a hair rinse, or even put on a salad. Lastly is the rose infused oil. One third cup rose petals, one third cup olive oil or carrier oil to one half cup of water. Bring water to a boil, then remove from heat. Put the oil in a glass jar. Set the glass jar in a pan of hot water. Bruise or crush the rose petals, then put the petals in the jar with the oil, stir and cover. Once the water cools, remove the jar and put in a warm, sunny windowsill. Leave the oil for at least 24 hours. Seven days is good. Take out the rose petals, strain the oil, add another one half or one fourth cup of roses and leave for 24 hours to seven days if you want this to be stronger. 
When you feel it's ready, take out the rose petals and you can use this as a face oil. Thank you.